Alright, for the last human alteration, we're going to work on skin tone. So, click and drag that in. Open it in Photoshop. Several different ways to do so. So, in the past, you have selected things, and you've selected skin, a lot of you, for a previous assignment. This is one way that is sometimes easier than using the selection tools. If you go up to select, you have the option to choose color range. You can see there's sampled colors, which means you can click and it will sample everything that is that color or similar to it. You can also use this to add to, so if I want to choose that color and this color and this color and it just builds up and adds to it. You can also just tell it to select everything that's red and that's well, everything that has some red in it. Obviously the brighter the white the more that color. Okay, greens, that's probably, well actually surprisingly didn't really get any. What we're gonna do though is go down to skin tones and everything that is considered a skin tone color is selected which as you can see some of the greenery has a skin tone in it you also want to check detect faces and that kinda brings in more honestly but it selects more for face as well so then I go ahead and I say okay and it's selected a lot so I'm just gonna use just the regular um, lasso tool and then I'm gonna either if you look up here this is add two things this is subtract so you can either choose to subtract or you can just hold down alt so it's got that minus and I'm gonna actually just click and draw around everything that's not skin tone and my computer's lagging a little bit there you go so I'm just drawing selections around everything that is not skin tone so once again lagging is happening major lag is happening. So I know everything that's green I don't want to be selected. And I'm not gonna deal with her shirt. So I'll leave the arm. And I'm probably going to pause this video and finish the rest of my selection so that I can have it be less laggy. But I want to, whoops, pretty much want to just, oh, I'm going to start that over. You can do things in a lot of one click and drag and you can get rid of most everything there. And yes, I am going to pause this, and and I'm still having lagging issues, so I'm not going to get everything deselected, but I'm going to go ahead and click on Hue and Saturation. And it makes that mask, and go ahead and change it. I don't care what color you choose in this case. I'll go kind of Avatar. And I could bump up the saturation a little bit, don't go too much. And then this is when it's useful because now it's a little easier for me to see so I can just paint oh my opacity is still low from a previous setting so but now I can just go through and anything that is tinted that shouldn't be like I don't want any of this background to be changing color to blue or any of her hair so you zoom in and use the brush you notice my hardness is really low which makes it so I can kind of fade it to areas that like hair so you just go through and you touch up anything that got changed that shouldn't have like her hair and it's tricky to get the little pieces of hair that are kind of over her face so you just do the best you can also if I press X I switch to white and I need to get like her ear because her ear should be blue like the rest of her skin once again it's always tricky to decide what am I going to make sure is skin colored and what's what am I going to do about the hair so Sometimes you really just have to switch back and forth. Don't want all of her eye. 
Also, you could decide, I don't think I want, I want her lips to go back to being lips, not being blue lips. And of course, this is the part where tutorials are tricky because I want to show you how to do a really good job, but it takes time to get all the little details. But you do, you want to go through and don't have anything colored that's not skin. Okay. And we're not going to deal with, don't worry about her arm, because technically, yes, you can kind of see the skin her skin through her shirt, but trying to color that is... Well, I guess it's not too bad. It's tricky because it's underneath. So... Eh, that actually doesn't look bad. So you can see that if you do that, it kind of gives you the idea that there's a faint light blue arm underneath that white shirt. Once you've touched up everything, you'd go ahead and just, you know, make sure you've got all of it in view. Oops, sorry, paused myself there. Now that it's done, I'll go to my snipping tool. Go ahead and snip that. Edit copy. And then paste it in here. Okay, you should have six. One, two three, four, five, and six. Save this and turn it in and you are done.